protecting principle and alteration of malware behavior by close observation. So as I say, I'm from Argentina. I am a researcher, a teacher, I'm a master's student. Um, well, Argentina is in South America and I'm from Mendoza, <coughs> which is in the west of Argentina. Uh, well, I wanted to show you some pictures from where, I'm you from, for where I am from, so uh, that's it. I, am, I work in the ITIC Research Institute, which belongs to the National University of Cuyo, which is one of the biggest universities in the region. And, um, <clears throat> well, I start with the presentation. So first, I will start with the uh, motivation and the contribution. Next, I will talk in a bit about the background and the NOMAD project. Uh, then I will be talking about the HTTPS dataset we generated. Um, then about an analysis and conclusion to finally uh, talk about the discussion, the conclusion and the future work. So the motivation of our work was that we wanted to study the influence of proxy interceptor in my well behavior. So for my well analysis. So our contribution are three points mostly. The first one is the creation of a network malware data set. Um, and the goal was to capture network uh, traffic that was using encrypted channels, uh, meaning TLS, SSL, or port 443. So we propose two scenarios. The first one with a, a proxy interception. We used MITM uh, proxy. And the second scenario was without any interception at all. Uh, the second uh, contribution of this work is the publication of the data set. Uh, we share it on our blog and on Twitter. And the third one is the analysis of the malware capture behavior. Oh, well, as background, I mean, I, I imagine that everyone uh, have heard about TLS which is a network protocol to encrypt information. That means that um, all the information between two points, between a source and a destination, when the channel is established, all the information passing through will be encrypted. Um, on the other hand, we know that malware is evolving and is increasing, and this uh, evolution makes uh, malware uh, even harder to detect because the behavior changes. And one of the evolution is that malware is using now HTTPS, SSL or TLS. And this makes them even harder to detect them. Uh, one example is the banking trojans or, for example, CEUs. So in this context, uh, the NOMAD project uh, arises, uh, was born, sorry. <laughs> and this is a project between Cisco System CTA and the um, Technical University in Czech Republic in Prague, and in collaboration with the National University of Cuso. And the goal of this project was to collect malware um, captures that was using encrypted channels. And it was a project to help Cisco system to study the, this kind of uh, malware and to us to analyze the captures. So uh, we generated a data set that now contains more than 150 malware captures. And they are all available online. If you want to access, you can do it. Um, it contains different types of malware, uh, meaning botnet, trojans, hardware, any kind. Uh, in order to obtain a good quality malware data set, we first study the malware, meaning we have to check if the malware was using HTTPS uh, and then we kept the infection running uh, the most of the time we could, uh, for weeks or even months when it was possible. And this is our infrastructure. Uh, this is the lab infrastructure we use for this project. So we have a Linux host with 30 virtual machines, and we were using VirtualBox to virtualize them. And there is a web, in the first scenario, there is a web port redirection and we are using the proxy, and then the, go, the traffic goes directly to the internet. We also have a honeypot, and we have a database with all the binaries that were used, uh, we are using for the malwares. 
so we copied the, the binaries to the server and then we execute it to the, uh, in the virtual machines. In the second scenario, is almost the same as the first one, but we don't have any port redirection, so the traffic goes directly to the internet. The, mo the methodology we are following is uh, has these five steps. So first we have to find the malware that was the hardest part. Um, we, mm, we used a lot SSL blacklist, which is a website where all the malware that is using encrypted channel are reported. So once we find the MD5, we found it uh, in, on Virus Turtle and we download it. Then we, co we copy all the binaries into our server in the database. Um, then we uh, start the virtual machine and we compute the start time. We execute the malware and we compute the, the time of the infection. And then we monitor the machine. We were using CACTI and we were using TCP dump. Um, and then we stop the machine after a while. Uh, then we generate some output files. We generate a, a bro analysis. Uh, we generate uh, some information files that you can access there. There is the link, uh, an example of the link. And we share it, the, the information on our blog and on Twitter. So you can see in that link uh, that is on blue, there is a number, uh, 181. 188 is the uh, number of the malware, if an ID that we gave to each malware. It belongs to MD5, we can say oh, one So that will be the first capture using uh, that malware. If we want to execute the malware a second time, we will put number two or number three and so on. So in order to analyze our malware captures, we use the pickup files and the MITM output files mostly. And we took into consideration uh, first the IPs that were contacted by the malware, the ports that were contacted, and we also were checking if the uh, communication was encrypted or not. This is one of the analysis um, of one of the captures. The uh, name of the malware is SWORD, and the ID is 188 for us. So as you can see in the first one, in figure three, is that there is not a lot of traffic. Uh, you can see a peak on blue. Each uh, color means a different kind of uh, traffic. So blue light will be SSL. And there is a, a peak because the malware um, reached uh, the uh, server, the, the remote server. He established a common and control. He received the orders, and uh, the malware kept the execu execution. There are some peaks because he tried to connect to different servers, but nothing more else was happening. However, in the second one, the malware couldn't uh, reach the server. So he was trying to connect. So those peaks that you can see are the attempt of the connections. Uh, so the malware tried to connect to different servers using port 443 and using encrypted uh, communication. And it was trying to connect through TCP uh, through ports 80 and 88. So you can have the link to that malware sample if you want to check them. This is another example. Uh, the name of the malware is Boltrack, which is a trojan. And the ID of the capture is 189. And as you can see, the behavior is pretty similar. And um, we execute the malware uh, in different times. And this was using a DGA, so he, he was trying to connect to different servers. He, the, connection, the connection was successful in both cases. Uh, in the second one, there is not much traffic at the beginning because some servers were down. So that was the only difference. But in both cases, he could connect to the uh, remote server. So here's the discussion. Um, in some cases, malware could not uh, connect to internet at all. He, they weren't able to communicate at all. This was because the malware was using a custom protocol. So with the meeting proxy interception, the proxy could not understand the protocol. And we were seeing this kind of message of bad request. 
uh, and that didn't happen with the same malware without a meeting proxy interception. That was the difference. So when this happened, new behaviors appear. The first one was that the malware tried to reconnect constantly to the remote server, let's say every minute, and that's why, that was why it was generating a lot of traffic. The second behavior we observed is that the malware was seeking other ways to connect by looking for different ports to the same IP, ports, for example, 80 or 88, and he tried to connect to different uh, servers, different IPs. So that was uh, the change of the behavior of the malware. So the conclusion is that some malware uses a custom protocol and on ports reserved for HTTPS and HTTP, meaning port 443, ports 80 and 88. Um, and blocking this connection by the proxy, it generates new malware behaviors. So we, now we can say that malware behavior can change because of the interception proxy. Uh, so a proxy interception should be careful considered when, when analyzing the malware behavior. So also our data set is available, so if anyone can observe anything else, uh, here, has, here you have the, the link to access. Um, as a future work, we want to analyze more features, we want to make some uh, reverse binaries, we would like to analyze uh, the IPs the malware is connected to, uh, the ports, because sometimes the ports is changes a lot. So we like to see an in, de in detail also uh, the version of the protocol the malware is using. And also we like to um, implement an IoT lab uh, for malware executing, for malware using HTTPS, because when I was looking for malware samples, there were a lot of samples for Android, um, now we want to uh, study uh, the behavior as well. So thank you very much for listening. And if you want to contact me, we are looking for collaboration as well. So here's my email, my, my Twitter. So thank you very much. If you have a question, don't hesitate. <laughs> Hi. Uh, it's working. working. Yeah. Thank you for for the very good, uh, very <laughs> nice talk. Um, I was wondering whether you had to deal with uh, sinkhole command and control servers in which you are unable to access them and you have to somewhat. Uh, try to imitate them in order to record the malware on HTTPS. Yeah, I'll try to repeat my question. Uh, did you have to deal with malware, specific malware that their command and control servers were sinkholed so that you have to imitate them um, by, using, uh, by using another server in order to reco record their HTTPS uh, Thank you. Uh, we wanted to use the, the proxy to analyze the packets in detail, uh, but we didn't have that kind of problem, actually. All the malware was executing well, and no, I didn't see anything of that, so. Thank, thank you. you. Another, another question? Another question?